Shalom, shalom. I am back with another video. Um, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is going to be a short video. Um, and hopefully, prayerfully, um, people will understand. So, <clears throat> we are not the children of Yasharala. We are not. I S R A N E L because a lot of people are waking up into the knowledge of the truth and they are saying we are the children of I S R A N E L. We are the children of the Trinity. We are the th this this is the B A A L I M that the Bible talks about. The Father, known as E L, and He is also the Tetragrammaton, the Y H W H. His Son is A M E N R A, and you actually when Christians are praying, they're actually invoking his spirit, invoking his presence when they close out their prayer by calling on him. That's who they're praying to. That is the same power or the same deity that was given to us in the image of Christ. His identity was stolen. ISIS -is, is known as the mother, the queen of heaven. These are the same three deities. So you have basically um, M-O-L-O-C-H or the Tetragrammaton or, or E-L. This R-A is B-A-A-L. And this is the queen of heaven. Um, and she also has many names. So these are the same three deities that since the Exodus, the children of um probably since Genesis. It's like this the DL yeah, since Genesis. The 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 children of Yasharala have battled with these uh same worshiping these same deities we are under a curse we were under a curse but now jacob has been redeemed so we were blinded we were blinded um thinking and serving these pagan deities these deities of wood and stone we were serving them thinking that we were serving the most high the people in the land that say they are the Jews and are not, these are their powers. They are the children of the Balaam. They are the children of I-S-R-A-E-L. This is the star of their power, the six-pointed star with six sides um, and six, yeah, six points, six sides, and this hexagon figure here that actually equals 666. This is who they they are. So basically the, 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 the true set apart people, the true chosen people, the true holy people that the most high Ahaya called for himself to worship him in spirit and in truth and separate themselves from the world and to live only amongst each other and not even to mingle or fornicate. And they were forbidden to marry with children of the world because the Bible said that the entire world was serving and worshiping the Trinity. They were worshiping E-L-R-A- 
which is B-A-A-L, and they're worshiping the queen of heaven. We were forbidden to do that. So we were overtaken by the their children in the name of the Trinity. We were overtaken by them. And they took our records and they changed our power to the yo hey why hey under Hava Havo, you know, um you know Yahoo, all these Yahoo Yaha, you know, um all of these names, they changed the name to our power. And then they changed the people from Yasharala to I-S-R-A-E-L. They became the chosen people. Their power became the power of the records. And everything was flipped. And uh, along with Christ, who was... You know, a Negro of the, the tribe of Judah, he became Caesar Borgia, the Pope's son. So, New Age. I-S-R-A-E-L and it's new age stuff. It means balance. It's the manifestation of consciousness. How they say God is within, God is within. It say it represents L which is within as God. Here it is again. I-S-R-A-E-L she Supposedly, she runs this territory. This territory is run by the district of C O L U M B I A. Washington, D.C. is her district. And she is also erected as she, she symbolizes liberty, freedom. She, she, um, they, they, they put her up in New York. And anytime, you know, boats or planes are coming over here, they see her. This is Christ, supposedly, and this is L once again, but this is all sun and moon worship, worshiping the host of heaven under different names. And they all are linked also to um, you know, astrology representing the sun, moon, representing the planets. This is what they were doing back in 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 Babylon, the Tower of Babel. Once again, I S R A E L. This symbol here is the yin and the yang. The T H O equals this. This is how, that's how it's worshiped in like Asian cultures. The feminine mother, the masculine father. But both equal one. And that's just like the symbol of the Baphomet. The Baphomet is, it's male. It has a male part, but then it also is female as well. It has breasts. So that's why this transsexual agenda is being pushed because that's the true. It's being pushed at this time, but that's all that's always been the true um, God of this nation. This nation was started the most high scattered during the Tower of Babel. He scattered the nations and made everyone go into to their own territory and he changed the languages and the tongue. These people came
came back together, enslaved his chosen people, waged war and on 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 his house and brought us over as prisoners of war, but millions of us were already here per um second Ezra tells us that. And they tracked us down, enslaved his people, used his people to build this nation. And the United States is about them coming back together from being scattered. They built, when the World Trade Center came down, they built the One World Freedom Tower. It's always been a mission to for, for all of them to you, reunite after being scattered from the Tower of Babel. And this is the nation, Mystery Babylon, that is being done in, that is being carried out in. This is the, talks about the Trinity, the Egyptian Trinity. And it, this article, I'll just link it, but it talks about how the Trinity started. It's used in Christianity, but how it started back in ancient um, Egypt as well as Mediterranean uh, places and these deities was known by these names. And I told you, I've, I've done videos before telling you that this name, O-S-I-R-I-S -I -I -S, is Tammuz um this is Nimrod, this is the Queen of Heaven, these are the same deities. What does ISIS stand for? This is dictionary.com, something that simple. The goddess of fertility, the sister and wife of Osiris or Tammuz, the mother of Horus. And usually represented as a woman with a cow's horn and a solar disc between. Later worship in the Greek and Roman empires. So she started off in the Egyptians. Later worship in the Greek and the Roman empires. Who enslaved the chosen people? The Romans. Who signed off on it? The Pope. The Pope signed off on through the papal orders of the dumb diverses and the intercaterra, the Pope signed off on the slavery and said, go over to the Americas, enslave them, recategorize them as heathens, and baptize them in the Trinity within six weeks. Convert them within six weeks and have them baptized because we worship one father, one creator. Once again, this is dictionary.com. This is what who we know as the son of the sun god. You you some people are still saying this when they pray. They close it out, invoking him, calling on him. But when you're saying you are I S R A and E L, these are the three deities that you are linking yourself to that have nothing to do with Ahia. This is what Christ was talking about when he said in the last days that many will be coming in his name saying that he's Christ and shall deceive many. The deception is deep. He wasn't saying people are going to be coming around saying, I am the Christ. No, they're going to be coming. They're going to be going around saying I'm Christ, but it's going to be a whole nother Christ. They're going to deceive many. The deception is going to be so deep in the last days. People would think that they're following me and I have nothing to do with them. That's why or nothing to do with this agenda that's being pushed. That's why many are going to say, I did this in your name. I cast out demons. I, I <coughs> excuse me. I preached, I prophesied, I healed, I healed. I did all these things in your name. And he's going to say, I never knew you. You were not serving me. You were serving the Trinity. 
you were serving B A A L. <laughs> Who is this person? A God in whom A M E N and R A are combined. The, the God of the universe and the supreme Egyptian, <clears throat> Egyptian G O D, during the period of Thebian, I'm sorry, Theban political supreme, supremacy. <clears throat> and last is E L. This is from um, like a college um, course. Uh, <clears throat> this is taught by Aya Kunz, <clears throat> uh, the professor from the University of Texas at R R R Arlington. Excuse me. So this is about E L. He is the the power of the Canaanites. He was the chief power of the Canaanites. He is also. The sum okay, so the Semitic root means G O D. This is why we shouldn't even be calling a higher G O D. I try not to say it, but we've learned to just use that. But actually, <clears throat> this is also pagan. Because of this, when the word E L is used in the Hebrew Bible, there's some confusion to whether it refers to a specific G O D. And so, and that's that's another thing. When we are um just using that word G O D so freely, yeah, there are many. There are many, and we just automatically assume that everybody is serving the same one, but no, they're not. But right here it says this is what I want this I want to read up here. Learn about E L the power of the Canaanites. Read about how the word E-L is used in Hebrew Bible to refer to the Hebrew G-O-D, the yo hey why hey as well as other deities. <clears throat> and we know I've made several videos on the yo hey why hey and how and under the Christian church and the Roman Catholic church, it translates this J-E-H-O-V-A-H or in Hebrew, Yaha, Yaho, and that Y-A-H. I've showed you all in videos. You can use um H 1180. And we'll see that Y-A-H and even J-A-H, the way that they put it in Psalms, equals Baal. That's who that is. <laughs> My Baal, a symbolic name for Baal. These are symbols of the Trinity, the five ancient symbols of the Trinity. So... <clears throat> This first knot, we see like this is that alchemy type stuff. It has nothing to do with the most high. This is the Roman Catholic um soldier and their shield that had the Trinity on it. This is like the Catholic Church. You had a fish here, we have that gun, you have the dove, the Holy Spirit, you have this represents like the Baphomet. <clears throat> here you go with the Roman priest Dagon I'm sorry I wasn't even supposed to say that um G I'm sorry D-A-G-O-N the fish power and the three leaf clover is another um demonic symbol of the trinity and it's attributed to Saint Patrick And then you have the virgin. Um, this symbol here is identified with French nobility, but it equals 
the Holy Trinity, and it represents the Blessed Virgin Mary. So this is what I'm trying to tell you all. The Trinity is now today being worshipped in the Roman Catholic Church as the Father, the Son, and the Virgin Mary, which is supposed to be the spirit or wisdom. And then in the Christian church, it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But they are the same. It's still the Trinity. <clears throat> Here is a picture of the Baphomet with the five-pointed star with the hands pointed up. And we see that same symbol as, as being a representation of the Trinity. We see that same symbol here being supposedly a representation of the Trinity. And then we see it here, where Pope Alexander, after he ordered our enslavement, he had his son to pose as this glorious image of the son God. And he's using the same symbolism. And normally they have this hand that's down. It's it, it's pointed, it has the two fingers um, in the same positioning of the fingers because it stands for as above, so below. So a higher is one God. He is the father. He is not a trinity. So if you're still using the Trinity and you're still using these pagan names that were given, with, that came with that false image that were given, you are serving a different power. So don't come on my page as if we are talking about the same power. We're not talking about the same power. We serve the great spirit, the great I am, the almighty power. We were separated. We were, we were forbidden to intermingle with the world. And we were a chosen people that were living outside of the world, but we were forced to assimilate into society and put down our religions which was our culture it wasn't even a religion it was our culture just the way we were raised and we were, we were forced to put down our 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 own tongue our culture um stop keeping the feast that we were commanded to keep until Christ returned as well as the Sabbath, we're forced to start keeping Sunday Sabbath. And they would actually send people around to make sure no, no one was observing Saturday Sabbath or the penalty was death. So <clears throat> now they've taken the sacred records and paganize them so heavily that people are believing that they're serving the same power it's just like there's no right there's no right or left there is no democratic or republican party they're one they're opposite sides of the same coin under the same umbrella and that's the same way it is today with uh, this trinity people if you flip to one side you can worship Satan um, by choice and, and many choose to live wicked and there are some that think they are worshiping the most high but they are worshiping Satan Un unaware um <clears throat> they are invoking him and calling on him and um 
And there is one more thing that I want to find. Well, let's see. Yeah, they are invoking him and calling upon him. And uh, <clears throat> and he has and and they're they're being deceived, like they're rebuking and binding and doing all of this stuff, and it's still the enemy. That's 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 being worshipped. Hmm. Let me just type this <clears throat> here. No, that's not it. I'll say this and I'm just on. Okay, so I is space R A space E L. And let's see what um so we see right here it says that Queen of the Throne that you know she's known by her her Greek name, basically Queen of Heaven, but yeah, this is what I wanted to show you all right here, where it says <clears throat> I-S-R-A-N-E-L, which is the queen of heaven, A-M-E-N-R-A, -E or L-O, is the divine mother, the divine masculine father, and the spirit. To clarify these three elements, I is is I is I is the Egyptian goddess, also seen as the moon goddess. You're worshiping the moon. I'm gonna go ahead and um end this video, but I pray that. We just come out of this, repent and come out of this and return to a higher. The Native American Indians, those were the 12 tribes. Those were the holy people of a higher. Those were the people that there, there, is, there are records and books that show when um, after Columbus supposedly found this land, and he was, um, and so some people were excited and wanted to come over here and see what he discovered and went and they, now Columbus knew who he was, who, who he was looking for. That's why he brought Hebrew interpreters with him. But some of these um, people came over and when they saw the atrocities that were being committed, they immediately saw these people and said, these are, we found the lost tribe. We found the lost tribe. These are the chosen people of the Bible. And he still slaughtered them with no, you know, hesitation. But um <clears throat> that that's who the 12 tribes are. And they were reclassified. The tribe of Judah as African Americans, the tribe of Issachar as Mexicans, um, I believe Zebulon, uh, no, Manasseh, they were like uh, recategorized as uh, Dominicans and stuff like that. And they were just transported all up and down North and South America and the, to the islands of the sea. So anyway, um, You all have a blessed day and I'm going to go ahead and end this video.